7 of the NFL on EA Sports. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. On the return, it's Washington. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And they'll be let out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And I'll bet right now it's just one thought in his mind. Win, Win the game. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, right? No, two touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes. But when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans have taken the early lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So here come the Cardinals now for their first drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. That was a solid performance last week, wasn't it? Two touchdowns, no interceptions, ran the team well. Won the ball game, bottom line. May not have been earth shattering, but it didn't need to be. Now a play fake here on first and under a heavy rush and down he goes. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early, and I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my... Now, loose football, the ball comes out, and the Texans scoop it, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Two yards left on second down from the 9. They'll set up to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So a we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's 
that's when you know you drafted well, scout free agents well, and stopped your team just the way you're supposed to. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. So a touchdown on their opening drive and three more here, and it adds to their first. Because the offense has moved the ball, defense able to do their job, and here the special teams unit comes through with their contribution. A field goal to make it 10-zip. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when oh, they only gave up the field yeah. goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this try with a little more pep in their step because it didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. Coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think Coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals have cut it to within a score. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is down to a field goal. One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, it's Washington. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Texans to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good. A nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. A couple of extra defensive backs in the ball game here on third and six. They'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at about the 28. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cards will take over first and 10. The football going back over to Arizona now. And things are starting to move in the right direction. They get the touchdown last drive, then their defense gets them the football back. Yeah, now they have a chance to get the lead if they can put something together here. I'm eager to see how they decide to do it. Do they want to be methodical, or do they want to take the big strike and go after it right now? 
So a nice catch right there. And this receiving core, without their number one wideout, keep that in mind, he's inactive this week, though it shouldn't be a long-term absence. And I would think, partner, that this is where an offensive coordinator believes he can solve the problem by spreading the ball around. Because anytime you lose your number one guy, it's obviously a blow to your offense. But there's also an opportunity to say, hey, they can't focus on trying to stop one guy. Keep spreading it around. The last part, each one of those receivers, they believe they're the number one guy, and they're ready to step up. On play action, they'll throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Looking to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and in incompletion as a result. Second and four. He's got his man. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Texans back out there and ready to go. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so someone well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Second and six. He finds his man complete. That's Brady. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. at halftime. I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. A good pick up there. Only needing two yards on second down. Back to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Alexander. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll look to throw again. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Again, he'll drop to throw. 
He finds his man complete. That's Alexander. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this from 43. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Ready to go with their next drive. And at the line, the Cardinal offense. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three time. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A great effort there. With his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get <laughs> crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played, the analytics, there's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. He'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. Kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And with only nine seconds remaining, with well, not much time, we'll see how they play this. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That'll be caught over the middle by Moss. There he goes, right side. And he's in for the touchdown. The final play of the first half. The player is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. 
Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? Point after, right down the middle. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided the second half upon us sooner than we bargained for. Week seven, second half, let's do it. The Cards with the lead, and they will get this football first as the second half gets started. This will be fielded inside the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. Here's second and ten. to throw and he comes back with one complete and he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stops made at the Texans 30 whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense it has not worked to this point yeah I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working they are really locked in on offense and he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Four yards remain for second down. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. This should be a cakewalk. Almost a week off. Let the starters run up the score in the first half. Backups get to play in the second. But you and I both know the funny things sometimes happen when you think this way. So it's incumbent upon the starters to really play well to make it work for this team. Dylan will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. So it was the passing game that got him down here. The closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Here's the Texans offense now, readying for their first possession of the second half. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Second and 11. He finds his man complete. That's Alexander. 
And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Partner, I like the play call coming right after a tackle for a loss because this is an obvious passing situation, but instead they fooled him a little bit with the screen, and they wound up getting back what they lost and then a little bit more. Over the middle complete. It's Rodgers. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And the pressure will bring him down here. The Cardinals get home for the sack. That one will set him back nearly ten yards here on first down on the sack. Back to throw here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now back to throw. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that is incomplete. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. Dillon now on first and ten. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy. But they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Now left side on the swing pass. Touchdown, Cardinals! A great play there. With his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Cardinals add on to their lead. It's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Extra point right down the middle. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them. In plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the... And a loose football! But I think a Texan player was able to get his hands on it, and they will indeed hold on to the ball and the possession. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talked about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Charles, this one, not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. Uh, what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. 
right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll bring up a second down. They'll set up a throw. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring him down. He couldn't get away. He'll wind up losing a dozen yards, a 12-yard loss, and it brings up third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it on remaining. And the Cardinals will now take over with excellent field position. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. And the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead, but I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And they're going to speed things up here. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Yeah, no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. About a half yard from the end zone. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll roll him out right. 